Hi everyone, now I'm just going to make a quick video about solving linear systems using substitution. And the big idea here is that a variable can be replaced with whatever value or expression that it is equivalent to. So let's take a look at this first system here. What I want to do is I want to change this uh, so that instead of having two equations with two variables, I have one equation with one variable. So I'm going to get rid of one of them. And in this method here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an equation where it's easy for me to solve for a specific variable. Doesn't matter which one. So in equation one, it is very easy for me to get x by itself. I simply move the 3y term over. That's it. So now what I can do is I can take that expression for, from one, and I can substitute that into equation two. So equation two is seven multiplied by x. Well, now I know that x is exactly the same as 3y minus four. So I can make that substitution. Okay, I can replace it there. Now, the big mistake here is often people do not distribute the 7 through their property. They multiply it by the 3, but they don't distribute it to the negative 4. So just something to be aware of. So 21y minus 28 minus 5y is equal to 20. Putting that together, I will get uh, 16y, and I'll bring the 28 over to get 48. And so y is going to equal 3. Once I know that, I have an, a nice expression uh, for x here from equation 1. So I'm just going to substitute this value into equation 1, and I'll get x is equal to 3 times 3 minus 4. So we can see that x is equal to 5. So I'm expecting that the point that is a solution to this system is the point 5, comma 3. Now let's check it. Bearing in mind that I just used equation 1 to get the value for y here, I'm going to check this in equation 2. So 7 times 5 minus 5 times 3, does that equal 20? Well, is 35 minus 15, does that equal 20? And yes, it does. So left side is equal to right side. So I know that that is a, a solution to that system. Now, where this gets complicated is when solving for a particular variable isn't immediately straightforward, and I got to fiddle with it a little bit. So in this case right here, it doesn't really matter which one I choose. It's going to cause me a bit of problems here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation one, and I'm going to solve for variable y now, just to show you that it, it works for both here. So I'm going to bring the 2x over, becomes negative 2x, and then I'm going to divide by that, by that negative 3. So this will become positive 2 thirds x minus 14 thirds, which is a little ugly, but eh, so be it. So now I can take that from equation 1, and I can multi, uh, substitute that into equation 2. So this will be 3 times x plus 7 multiplied by 2 thirds x minus 14 thirds. And that is going to equal negative 48, because remember, I'm, I'm replacing the y with what is equivalent to. And now I'm going to multiply that through. So 3x plus, this will be 14 thirds x uh, minus 98 thirds is equal to negative 48. Now I'm, I'm really lazy, so I'm going to multiply the entire expression here through by 3 to get 9x plus 14x minus 98 is equal to negative 144. That is going to be 23x is equal to negative 46. And so x is equal to negative 2. Awesome. And now because I have this expression for y, I can substitute that in uh, to equation one here. And I'll get y is equal to 2 thirds of negative 2 minus 14 thirds. And when you evaluate that, we get negative 18 thirds or negative 6. Nice value here. So my point that I think is the solution is the point negative 2 comma negative 6. And remember, I got that by plugging those values into equation 1. So I'm going to check it by going back into equation 2. And so that'll be 3 times negative 2 plus 7 times negative 6. Does that equal, whoops, sorry, does that equal negative 48? And the answer is negative 6 minus 42 equal negative 48. Yes, that's true. Negative 48 equals negative 48. Left side equals right side. That works. So once again, um, the really common mistake here is simply when you do the substitution, when you replace the variable with the, the expression it's equal to, to not put parentheses around it, and as a result, to not distribute that, that coefficient through. That is the most common mistake. 